Hi, it's Emma Nagel. So today I'm using a really old palette to do this eye look. I'm using my old e.l.f. glitter eye book. This came out years ago and I was super obsessed with it. It was probably one of the first eyeshadow palettes I ever got. And I really love this eyeshadow book. Um, and today I just really felt inspired to um, use this. So I did this green glittery intense um, bright eye look. And I really hope you guys like the look. And if you do, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and watch in high definition. And by the way, I'm going through a lot of personal challenges at the moment. Um, and if you guys could send me some positive positive vibes, um, that would be great. Because I feel like I could really need it. So anyways, this is a makeup tutorial. It's not a super sad uh, personal update. Um, I'm going to do this full face for you. So without further ado, here comes the tutorial. So hello again, you guys. So let's get to beating this face, shall we? I'm going to use the e.l.f. Mineral Primer. I haven't used this in a while, so I thought I would bring it back out. And I'm going to use my Glow Minerals on the eye primer. So yeah. So for the foundation, I'm going to mix my two Stay Matte foundations in Classic Beige and Ivory. So I'm just applying my foundation and I'm going to do a green eyeshadow look today. I just feel like I have been doing so many neutral looks lately and I mean neutral looks are fine but I miss some color. And I'm going to use a foundation brush today. I have no idea how this is going to go down. But I'm really curious, and if it's not working out, I can always grab my beauty blender. So, let's try this. It seems to be doing just fine. It's actually working out really well. So, to conceal underneath my eyes, I'm going to use the Essence All About Matte Concealer in, in the color Matte Beige. This is like super full coverage, so I love it. And I'm just using a little sponge by W7. And to set my under eye area, I'm going to use a mixture of banana powder and cameo powder by Ben Nye. So I look up and I pat this powder combination on. And for all over the rest of my face, I'm trying out this e.l.f. pressed powder in sand. So it's very yellow toned, but it looks okay. So I'm going to use this Master Scope um, Duo by Maybelline in the color light medium and I'm going to use the bronzer to bronze out my face. I have never tried this before so we shall see. So I actually just changed my brush. It's quite a light bronzer so I can use a more dense brush. I think this will be really great for beginners because it's not too strong, so you won't accidentally apply too much, you know what I'm saying? So far so good, I do really like it. So I'm also using the, the darker Master Sculpt Duo by Maybelline. And it actually comes with this little brush, so I'm trying it out. And this color is much more cool toned, so it's perfect for contouring. And I don't always do this, but I'm feeling like adding a bit of this contour powder to my jawline and of course I'm contouring my nose so I'm just going ahead and blending this out and for blush I'm going to use something quite subtle because I am going to do bright green eyes so this is from Tarte and this is in the color Exposed so I'm just applying a little bit of that and for a little bit of highlight I'm using the Balm Mary Luminizer Oh shit. And then the nose. And of course I'm going to blend that in. Okay, so I'm setting everything with my e.l.f. Illuminating Mist and Set. And I'm just using this one because it's been a minute since I last used it. That was stronger than I expected. Okay you guys, before I forget, let's do something fun, alright? I'm going to use this e.l.f. Brown Liquid Liner. And I'm going to use this above, well, on top of this set I, I have right here. So it kind of looks like a beauty mark. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I don't know. 
<laughs> mm, I guess I have to get used to it. So for the brows today, I want to keep them a little bit lighter than usual. So I'm using this L'Oreal Brow Artist uh, Designer in the color blonde. So it has this little spoolie on one end and I'm going to use this to brush my brow hairs up. So I'm going to use this to fill in the majority of my brow. So I'm just going to top off any sparse areas with a little bit of this e.l.f. brow kit. I'm just using the powder side. And this by the way is in the color Ash. So I'm going to set my brow hairs into place with my e.l.f. clear mascara. So I think that's as good as it's gonna get for my brows today. So I'm of course going to use an eyeshadow base and I'm using my Urban Decay Primer Potion today. And after the primer, I'm also going to use a color base to make our green eyeshadows really pop. So I'm using my e.l.f. glitter eye book and I'm going to use this light glittery brown as a transitioning color. And I'm dusting down right up here above the crease. So I'm just building this color up to my desired intensity. So I'm going into my crease with this dark brown. And I'm using a smaller blending brush. And I just apply it right into the hollow of my eye. So for my green base, I'm going to use this Makeup Forever Flash Palette dupe. And I'm going to use this green color. And I'm just painting this on with a small little eyeshadow brush. And then right around the tear duct, I used a bit of white. So it's going to be a lighter green color. And I'm just going to lightly blend it out with my finger. So I'm going to use the lime green color. And this is going around the tear duct. And I'm also just bringing it a little bit onto the eyelid. And then I'm using the green right next to it. And I'm just applying it right on to like half of the remaining lid space. And I'm just blending the two colors together. And now I'm using this last green color. And I just apply that on the rest of the base. So now I'm going to use the black to make the outer corner more smoky. And I'm just applying it with the same small little brush I used in the crease. And now I'm using some more of the darkest brown to blend out the edges because I'm not going for like a cut crease look. So now that all that is done, I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back. So now that I have both eyes done, on the top I'm going to apply some of the green base at the lower left line. And then I'm going to apply the medium and dark green. Um, along the lower left lines. So I pop the medium right in the center and then the darkest color along the outer corner. And then of course I'm going to smoke out the outer corner with some black. And then I'm blending out the green with a Q-tip just to diffuse the edges a little bit. So I'm going to use my NYX matte liquid liner and I'm just going to do a cat eye. This liquid eyeliner is actually so easy to use. So for my water lines, I'm going to use the Natural Collection Eye Lines in the color black. So I'm just going to load up on this in the water line. And I'm also applying a bit of this along the other water line. So for a little bit of extra fun, I'm going to add this Glitter Collection Glitter by BH Cosmetics and this one is in the color Lime Green and I'm going to use this W7 Sparkle Eyeliner in pink as a base so I'm lining with the glitter eyeliner and then I'm going in with the glitter and I follow it all the way out to the wing and now I'm just going back with a little bit more liquid liner and that's just how I do my glitter liner. So I'm going to do the other eye and I'll be right back.
But since I come on home, well my body's been a mess And I miss your ginger hair and the way you like to dance Cause there's nothing, there's nothing you can teach me Get on without my guy. So once that's done, we can go on to some mascara. I'm going to be using some Great Lash mascara. And I am going to wear some falsies. So I'm just applying one coat. It doesn't matter that much. I just want my lashes to be black. Okay, that must be enough of that. No more sad music. Work, 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 work. Send me happy work, 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 work. You see me do me da 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 da. Some of them work, 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 work. I'm just taking my love for coffee and for foundation. Oh wow. Ooh, I'm getting a little bit emotional. Okay, you guys. I know I said I was going to do false lashes. Um, but I have changed my mind about that because um, I'm going through some personal things right now, so I'm not really, I'm not really feeling too good. So I just kind of want to, um, you know, just chill for a little bit. Um, so, <laughs> oh my god! So basically, I just want to, you know, get done with this video because I'm not feeling it right now. I was feeling it. I was feeling this video for most of the video, but then all of a sudden I just got really emotional. Um, so luckily I'm, al I'm almost done. So um, I'm going to skip the falsies. You could definitely apply falsies. I think that would be really, really cute. But anyways, I'm going to finish off with the lips. So I'm of course going to do a nude lip with these dramatic eyes. So this is the Essence Liquid Lipstick in the color Almost Real. So I'm just popping this on real quick. And by the way, this liquid lipstick is more like a pigmented lip gloss. And then I'm going to apply some NARS Striptease lip gloss on top. Just mainly in the center. And with that on, we are done! So this is the finished look using the e.l.f. glitter iBook. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that's it. So I will see you guys in my next video. So take care and bye bye.